Hi, I'm Paul Balachik of Eridani Studios. Uh, we've just started fulfilling some of our Kickstarter rewards this week. Uh, we shipped out a batch last Friday, and uh, we should be shipping out a second batch later this week. We have been working hard on painting all the masks, getting them ready, and one of the things that we realized is that we should probably teach everyone the easiest way to wear the mask armor over your mask. Um, the cool thing again about our mask armor is it works pretty much with any mask that you have that's a nice close fit to your face. Uh, I personally use a mask, it's a double layer of cotton with a pocket. Uh, for the filter, I use a N95 equivalent material called Filty, which I've found to be a really good way to have essentially a three layer mask. Uh, I'm not going to wear the mask while I'm demonstrating how to put these on just so that way you can hear me more clearly. Um, so that guy gets to go away. So we tried a whole bunch of different ways to strap on the mask armor. Uh, I tried a really thick band across the neck, but that didn't keep the mask up. It just wanted to fall down. Uh, over the time, we realized the best way to do it was essentially a two anchor system. Uh, one anchor on top of the head to hold it up and one behind the neck to hold it in place and to keep it from shifting too much. Um, everyone's mask is gonna be coming with a 36 inch piece of elastic and some really cool 3D printed clips that Mike printed. And so pretty much the way the ways that we're going to demonstrate how to do this are going to be pretty much the same method, but simply take the clip, hook it behind your neck like that. The mask should be resting gently like this. Simply grab the secondary strap and that's it. To take it off, simply grab it, pull the top one down. It should go back around your neck again. And then when you want to remove it, simply unhook it. Now for me, when I work at Aerodani, a lot of times I wear a respirator a lot when I'm sanding latex and I'm sanding resin. And I've been wearing this mask a lot when I go out in public. And so for me, I guess I have a rounder head than Mike's. So my, my elastic wouldn't stay on top of my head. It kept falling back behind my neck, which meant the mask just fell down. So I decided to emulate what my respirator has, which is essentially a cap piece that goes on the top of your head. Uh, I tried doing, doing that out of leather, but because it wasn't a solid piece, it just kept messing up my hair and just falling down. So what I ended up doing is I found a piece of plastic, uh, a thin sheet, and cut it into this donut shape. And to make my sister Sarah happy, you can make one of these yourself uh, using recycled plastic. If you ever get one of those uh, plastic salad containers from Kroger, the top or the bottom, you can easily cut this piece right here. And all it is is two pieces of elastic that are tied to either end. But it, seriously, someone texted while we're filming this. Same process. Simply clip it behind the neck like that, and then it'll hang right here in front of you. And when you're ready to pull it on, you just simply grab the crown piece, and it holds like that. And so as you can see, the crown piece holds onto the very crown of my head, comes down, loops one time through the straps here, and then clips in the back. But there's not much movement. You can do this all day. And as you can see, I custom painted mine to look like a certain bounty hunter, because why not? And to take it off, just like the other method, just grab it by the strap, pull it forward, and it'll rest against your neck. So you can wear it like this. Oh yeah, it'll mess up your hair a little bit. And then to take it off, simply unhook the two straps, or the two clips, and you're good to go. And you guys might find a method that works better for you, but honestly, we tried a whole lot of things, and I think one of these two methods is probably your best bet. Um, if you have a little bit of movement with the mask, you might want to try a little bit thicker uh, elastic. Uh, what you'll be receiving in the mail is a 1 4 inch piece, um, but you might want to go up to a 3 8 or a 1 half inch, and you might get a little bit more of a snug fit if you're noticing an issue. Uh, we haven't been noticing much of an issue, though, with ours, though. All right. Um, thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions, message us on Kickstarter, email, or on YouTube. Uh, we'll take a look at your questions and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Have a great day and <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> Way to ruin it, Cassie. <laughs> I'm just doing the smile fingers.